The days go by, but the grief is still hard to bear. Bodies keep arriving at this church in northern Iraq. After Tuesday's wedding fire that killed more than a hundred people. As saying we inherited from our ancestors goes, we were happily gathered until the storm dispersed us. Now we say we were happily gathered until the fire destroyed us. I'm speechless. This is the first Sunday Mass since the fire. Mercy for those who died, recovery for the injured, and patience for the victims' families. Those are the prayers of the people gathered here. I can't imagine there'll be any more celebrations in Hamdaniya after what happened. But we pray not only for the victims and their families, but also for this seemingly everlasting pain to be alleviated and for those unaccounted for to be found. The death of so many people, including children, has angered and shocked many here. Church leaders want forgiveness for everyone. We've asked the Almighty to bestow His grace and patience on us all. We pray that we can live in peace and stability. May the Lord protect the Iraqi people and guide their leaders to the right path. Families are now torn apart. Some have lost several close relatives. Worshippers here, including some of the victims' families, friends and neighbors, that such an incident will not happen again in their town. They're demanding justice, but say masses and prayers like this are the only solace they have for now. The loss is unbearable to have what was supposed to be a happy event, a wedding, turn into sorrow in a matter of seconds. Forensic examinations are underway to identify dozens of bodies and bring closures to their families. While the church is likely to witness more grieving, more tears, and more prayers. <laughs>